<laughs> what a crazy race. 58 lap race, Lewis Hamilton had control of it for 57 and then the FIA said, I don't want you to win. Literally breaking their own rules to have a one lap race off at the end with Max on fresher tires. Of course it was gonna end that way. You know what I mean? But um, it is what it is. Crazy season. One of the, uh, well, I mean the best season of Formula One I feel like I've ever seen and may have ever been. I'm just glad we got to be there at the last race. It was the fa the atmosphere so loud and it gives me tingles just thinking about it. Anyway, that's enough of that. We got to pack up this morning. This is how a hotel room should look. If you don't look like this at a hotel room, what are you doing? You're too clean. And then obviously the Dubai Fitness Championships are this week. So this week we're just going to catch up with as many of the athletes as possible before it and uh, build the hype. So let's go. Very satisfying word to say. How many of you just said it? One thing I do want to talk about over the weekend is uh, there was a big day for Hustle Made Again. Yep. We sponsored our first ever competition. A little local weightlifting meet and it was cool to see the band flying. Also in the last vlog we did let you know that uh, we're signing our first athlete. I'm gonna give you a little clue. They're competing at the Dubai Fitness Champs. Ooh. Name that film. They didn't know I could do that. Oh, I thought we were going. Did lend me the car, but unfortunately, it was this one. <laughs> All right, so this weekend at the Dubai Fitness Championships, there's three Brits in the field. Now Zach's pulled out, and there's only one male. Today we yep. Today we're training with him, and he's a chauffeur. Yep. Good. How are you? Good. Good. That is the most yeah. casual passenger I've ever seen. Oh wow. Well. So these, these cars are this guy's boat. So he's been parked here for a few years now, but he's got like... Not got many. Like, yeah, I know, yeah, not many. That's crazy. So, so that, did you not come down to the marina, no? No, not at all. Oh, so Elliot just said that boat is yesterday. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, <laughs> Elliot said that boat is nothing and usually there's a big boat and then another boat pulls up and it's a bigger boat. It's merely a dinghy compared to the other yeah, boats. Yeah. Uh, so we've never been to Yaz, no. but it's, it's somewhere that you made very popular. I feel like. It's well, known everywhere now. Yeah. But, but people get thrown off when you go inside because it looks different on people's videos than in the, when you're actually in the gym. Does it? Yeah, each people go, I didn't know it was round. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> oh, is it round? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, right. It's like the whole top level yeah. of this, of this it's building. It's like a donut. Yeah. I mean, I like trucks, but that's too much. <laughs> the door handle's higher than my head. So, this is obviously the marina. That's where the gym is. And the racetrack is here. That right there is the outdoor gym. It's the winter now, it gets used in the winter. Right here is probably some of the wealthiest people's boats in the world. And then there's us. <laughs> <laughs> you just know what, that's mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, like, I climbed that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The blow up one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. somewhere. <laughs> Something that may be inspiring or uninspiring is you can come out of the gym after you do a great workout, sit and look at the boats and go, even if I become CrossFit Games champ, probably won't be able to afford one. It is what it is, eh? in Ferrari world. So it's on the ride. The, <laughs> on my life. So I'm in the middle, I'm going, and it's like the fastest bit. This guy leans over the side, is sick, and obviously the ride's going, so they're sick, <laughs> straight onto my face, all over my top, and it was bright orange. It's bad enough when a baby does it, let alone a grown human. I've never heard Evie so ex expressive. <laughs> Loudly. Honestly. I'm 
Can't See, <laughs> that conversation came up because we went to Warner Brothers World before we came here, and there's just like little 3D rides, and after three I went, Jazz, I've got to stop. <laughs> anyway, wow, it's round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it might just be a run, because like the more simple, the, the worse. People want to know, how's the shoulder? The shoulder is getting there. I can put my arm above my head comfortably now. Um, probably not comfortably over the weekend, but um, it's good now, yeah. So it's, it's getting there and the warmth has definitely helped, but um, slow process, yeah. Injury's annoying, eh? Oh, tell me about it. So I've just got to gotta keep it, get the scar away, get rid of the scar, my little jelly straps, and then good to go. <laughs> so what is the plan today? Um, I think it's like 85 to 90 percent back squat, just single. Uh, same for snatch, and then just like a little emom, and then a little pump at the end. So this week lower volume, but yeah. just priming the system with a bit of weight. Yeah. So the weekend I did like a couple of workouts at the same time, so I was training like four till nine, which was weird, uh, but it's good to get into the routine. And then yeah, now it's just get fresh really. Nice. That's the problem here. Sometimes you think you've warmed up <laughs> and you haven't, but it's like uh, you're very warm. Yeah. Is there aircon in there? Evie, is there aircon in here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a debate for many a year. <laughs> yeah. You've been watching a lot of Space Jam. There's a new movement next year. Yeah. Be ready, everyone. Sick content right now. Yeah, so on a scale of one to 10, how prepared are you for this weekend? You got the call up quite late. Very late. Um, but to be fair, I was going to the one in Rack, so I was kind of ready for that. Um, so yeah, I'm as ready as I can ever be, really. See what happens. Yeah. Be good. And what are you doing now? What are long? Just some clean and jerks, heavyish. I never know. Do I look into the camera? Do I look at you? <laughs> Look in the eyes, yeah. around the eyes. Look yeah. in the eyes, Today. Well, definitely <laughs> cherry pick them today. I'm still unsure what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just starting. Elliot, see you now. So it'd be easy to follow us, Nemo. I was wrong. Yeah, they're all doing random things. <laughs> they're just, just dancing around, really. Don't post my secrets. <laughs> 65 pound now. So you're gonna look swole. Well, it's gonna last until Thursday. Yeah. I hope so, right? This is where I hope that I've not gone too heavy. My arms look jacked, man. Thanks, man. You've been working on them. Thanks, man. Put this next to my walk and lunge video. I mean, there's not many CrossFit gyms with a mirror, so when there <laughs> is, you've got to make the most of it, you know? Just can't do the texture. I'm gonna take my grills out. out. It's, uh, honestly, I really struggle. But what do you mean you know, taking grills out? Yeah, my grills. Jazz won't let me get a gold grill once I'm done. <laughs> Just be careful of that in the middle. So this is a date, and apparently they're the best dates in the world. <laughs> <laughs> other, than, well, here. other than if Jazz dates me. Just don't chew it, right? Because of that. Mm. Chip your tooth. Oh, Gee whiz. Gee whiz. Gee whiz. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect it to be so chewy. Game changer. 
It is nice. It's nice, isn't it? Caramel. Yeah. It just looks a bit like a brown, like, it just looks a bit like a testicle, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but what's the matter with your testicle? Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, let's just, let's just show the YouTube channel what Quake's testicles look <laughs> like. <laughs> All right, dried cat poo or something, you know what I mean? Someone about that, mate. <laughs> I still can't get over Gee Whiz. <laughs> Hang on, keep rolling. Evie, is that what testicles look like? <laughs> <laughs> this is the building that Yaz is in, and it's cool. It's got a little trap on the top. So 3.30, and then box. Super happy with that. Today went in with like nothing, nothing planned because of the knee. I didn't know how it was going to be. Hit like a paused pull and a, and a paused snatch. 115 and a power clean push jerk at 143. Buzzing. It's gonna be a wedding on the boat. Look, that literally. You see the arch? Yeah. Or maybe that's just the bar. No, it's definitely a wedding. Yeah, it does so those things that I just ate grow on these. I did also think that coconuts grow on palm trees. Is, I just laughed at you. Is he joking or is he not joking? I don't know. I'm gonna have to Google. We it. Need, no, no, we need an honest answer here. Do they grow on those? Yes, yeah. <laughs> no, they don't. Genuine. Give me Maybe not on these. Maybe not on these ones. But you'll see when we drive past. There's bags that hold the dates underneath them. So coconuts don't grow on these. Oh no, that's a wasp's nest in that one. <laughs> I always thought coconuts grew on these. Is You're still having a, he's still having a son, isn't he? I promise. <laughs> Do you want a, uh, I can't believe I'm going to Google it. Yeah, I need a smoothie. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have sandstorm too, yeah. That's the entrance to Yaz CrossFit there. And downstairs there's this little Irish bar that does amazing smoothies. This is very good. I never thought really a little kick good. of orange juice in a chocolate shake would be good, but it's very nice. You like Terry's chocolate orange though, don't you? Mm, yeah, mm. I do. I like most things that aren't healthy for me. Me too. Like you. Ha! My blood pressure through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> I have a thing about really big tyres. I really love really big tyres. That is not a truck. That is a lorry. <laughs> Look, just go stand the other side. Go stand the other side. Look, Jazz stands the other side. She doesn't even exist. That is a that is a monster. All right, you can come out now, Jazz. I feel like I'm a borrower. Yeah. It doesn't look real. It doesn't. Epic day. Next stop, Dubai. Now today, luckily, Josie for us has been doing what he does best, making sick content at Dubai, and he's got to hang out with Willie George's second part of this vlog is what he got up to today. So Josie, my man, take it away whilst we go to Dubai. What is going on team? I'm Josie here checking in from Dubai. As you can see, we have the beautiful marina in the back. This morning, we are going to uh, spend some time with uh, the King of France himself, Mr. Willie George, coming back from injury, first come back. Just to give some context, I think the doctor said he would maybe be back for the Open and we are three months away from the Open. So obviously the guy's done something right. But with that being said, enough of me. Let's uh, head straight to Eliot with the King of France himself, Willie George. It's always the best moment if you want to squat, it's right after your flight. It's a professional chip. <laughs> you invented a new concept, the red warm-up. Huh? A new concept, the red warm-up. Yeah, yeah, red warm-up. It's, 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 it's honestly, it's mandatory in Dubai. <laughs> How's your workout? Good? Tu veux en français ou en anglais? En anglais. Ok, en allemand? En German? <laughs> Hello, je suis Willy. <laughs> no, no, it was a good workout. It was just a work, you know the workout just before the competitions. So you have just to put the, um, the optimal intensity. So it's fine. It's cool. Finish with Max GHD. Start with red warm up. No, no, no. It was Max GHD in two minutes. So it was, it was, it was not easy but funny. 
Are you looking? It's been two years you competed last time, right? Yeah. Last time was 1919. Yeah. Yeah. And I was supposed to compete in Wodapalooza right after in 2020, January mm -hmm. 2020. And uh, I just uh, did my first injury at the sh my shoulder before the Wodapalooza. So with the, all the COVID stuff and uh, my shoulder last year. So it's two years without competing. I'm excited to see you back on the floor. I think a lot of people are as I'm well. I'm really excited to know why I am. So it should be the. Could be fun. What's your goal for the weekend in terms of like understanding where you are? And uh, honestly, it's the first time in the competition I have no goal. I just want to be proud of my uh, of my performance at the end, and I just want to do my best. And uh, I, my first goal was, to, was really to be back at this for this competition. And, uh, so I'm really happy to, to be there. I, I, I can do all the movement, but not perfectly. But I can do all the movement. So my goal is achieved. Uh, everything else is like a bonus. <laughs> so we're at a fancy hotel. Hi, Mr. Jasmine Caborn. <laughs> the popular male name of Jasmine is. Never mind. It's actually a party hotel. I didn't realise. There's all sorts of stuff going on. I mean, we're literally here from like 8 pm till 10 am. But. Oh, I've missed hotels, look at this. Wow. Look at this. Great. This is, this is the most fully stocked bar I've ever seen. No wonder they take a deposit. <laughs> Get yourself some nuts. Some veggie chips. You said get the camera for a time lapse, and I was just envisaging it being on there and it falling down 14 floors, and I still went like it was on a roller coaster. Yeah, and if you want this vlog to be real, I just farted and nearly sharted, so, you know, <laughs> travelling and change of food isn't always the best. Is that salsa? <laughs> it was spicy, that salsa. Look at the pretty buildings, look at those. They're, they're my favourite. I'm scared, I know, I'm scared of heights. <laughs> I've lost all circulation to my thumb. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. 